Flamingo. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the Flamingo Show, where each week I talk about what's new in the world of Webflow. So let's kick things off with a little update to Webflow. So Jan Losert tweeted out the other day, so he noticed that Webflow added styling support for first, last, odd, and even items inside of a collection list. So this functionality is super useful to have before you had to add in some custom CSS, but now you can do it directly inside the Webflow designer. This is only on collection items. I would love to see support for this functionality, being able to target the last child of a class that's not a collection list, just a normal class. That would be super cool. So Webflow, if you added that, that'd be. Okay, speaking of Jan, he was part of a team that redesigned Tiny Capital's new website. So if you go to tinycapital.com, you can check it out. This redesign is, mwah, it's so, so good. The site overall is fairly minimal, but it's the illustrations that give it a lot of color and energy and really brings the site to life. I really love how this site turned out. So fantastic work on this one. All right, next up, you guys may know Ron Seagal and his team over at Flux Academy just recently relaunched their site and it is super well done. This site is full of a ton of awesome interactions. I especially love this top interaction. It has all these icons representing all the things that you're gonna learn through their courses and they're just like floating around. But as you scroll, all the icons come down into the person's head. Again, representing that you're gonna get all that knowledge, which is super clever. So Ron, great work on this. I love it. If you guys wanna check this out, go to flux-academy.com. Speaking of crazy interactions, Thomas Bosk and Raul Bogle just launched this site for a company called Spline Group. The interactions on this site are insane. My favorite part of this is when you get down to proven experience, 10 years and counting, the 10 sticks. And then as you scroll, it grows bigger and bigger and bigger. And then right once it gets out of frame, the section starts lifting up and it starts to reveal some of the pictures of projects that they've done. So this site actually won site of the day and dev awards from awards.com. And I can tell why, cause it's crazy cool. If you want to check it out, go to splinegroup.ca. You can see all the crazy interactions for yourself. All right, one more with super cool interactions was UJet by Joseph Berry. So just like the Spline Group, this site has a bunch of awesome scroll interactions. Uh, the background changes, stuff sticks and stays with you as you scroll. I especially love the top interaction. When you load the page, lines move out, uh, circle is drawn and then the scooter slides out. But what's cool about this is the wheels on the scooter turn. So it's not just a static image, but the wheels on it are animated separately. So it looks like it's rolling out, which is a very nice touch. So if you want to check this out, go to ujet-wip-2020.webflow.io. It does say work in progress. So I'm not sure if this is the final site or not, but either way, super well done. Actually, real quick, I just want to give Joseph Barry a shout out. His work is super cool. You should go check out his portfolio. It's joseph-barry.webflow.io. The interactions on it are crazy cool. It has this really unique horizontal scroll, has hover effects when you hover over titles, has a custom cursor. So definitely go check out his portfolio. Again, joseph-barry.webflow.io. All right, next up, Gary Colwell launched Monograph Communications which is a copywriting service site, I believe. I absolutely love the typography and the gradient and really everything on this site. So the site is super minimal. It doesn't have a lot of graphics. It's very focused on typography, which is what you'd expect from a copywriting service company. But I'm very impressed with this site. You can go to monographcoms.ca to check this one out. And Gary actually did a full breakdown, a case study on this site, if you wanna go check that out go to uh, garycolwell.net slash monograph if you're curious about what went into creating this site. All right, let's move on to some resources. All right, first up, Ollie Timmis made this style guide clonable to help you jumpstart your Webflow projects. It has things like color, typography, buttons, rich text, etc. So this will save you a bunch of time. All you gotta do is clone this, tweak the styles to match your design, and then you don't have to set up all these styles for your project yourself. Another cool clonable that came out was Sophia by Tom Beckers. It says this is a landing template for startups. It's just a simple landing page, but the design is super polished. The typography is great. The colors are great. He even built both a light mode 
and a dark mode of this template. So regardless of which style you prefer, you can start from this and build your site. If you want to check this one out, go to sophia.webflow.io. All right, next up, a cool template that I saw in the template marketplace caught my eye was Lectio by Euros Miki. And this is an e-commerce site built for you to sell digital goods like courses, ebooks, design resources, etc. I really, really like the funky 90s style vibes that this template has. It's $79 in the Webflow marketplace if you want to pick this uh, template up for a project of yours. Euros, very nice work on this template. I really like it. And the last thing I want to talk about is not only a Webflow site, but it's a super useful resource called Shapefest. So this is by Joseph Angelo Tadaro. It's a huge library of 3D shapes that you can use in your projects. It has things like devices, basic shapes, the alphabet, and they all come in different textures and colors and angles. He actually just released a clay series of devices. So he has things like Apple watches, MacBook templates, etc. And it's 100% free, which is crazy. Or if you want it for sketch, he just released his sketch pack, which is on sale right now for $25. So you can actually customize all the colors and stuff inside of Sketch itself. I've already used this in one of my projects and I'll definitely use it again in the future. If you want to check it out, go to shapefest.com. All right, before we wrap up, we need to pick the winners for the Flamingo Webflow Jet Boost giveaway. All right, so I'm just going to do this at random. Let's see. All right, as of right now, I had 75 people enter. Okay, so Google has random generator. All right, so the first two I'm going to pick will each win a lifetime Flamingo membership. And then the third person is going to win a lifetime Flamingo membership, one year of Webflow CMS hosting and $50 of JetBoost credit. Okay, so the first winner is number seven, which is Pablo Cortez. Congratulations, you won a lifetime uh, membership to Flamingo. All right, second is number 15. So 15 is Ollie. Nice, Ollie's the one who released that style guide clonable. So congratulations, Ollie. All right, and then for the big one, the one who wins all three is number 21. All right, number 21 is Kaleem Shima. So Kaleem, congratulations, you won a lifetime Flamingo membership a year of hosting and $50 of JetBoost credit. All right, that is all for this week's episode. So if you come across anything cool in the world of Webflow, please let me know. So find me on Twitter at Flamingo underscore CO or go to flamingo.co slash discover and submit a link there. But that's all for this one. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Flamingo. Mingo.